Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and we are at Intexis facility in Noida where they assemble smartphones and also manufacture batteries and chargers and we're going to give you a quick look at the entire process that goes in to manufacturing the chargers and the batteries and assembling the phones but before that I need to put on some very interesting safety gear. <laughs> So yes, like I said, we are at the Intex factory here in Noida and I have with me Rahul who's going to explain the process of a smartphone assembly. So Rahul, tell us exactly what is happening here, what is started. See, basically this is the PCB, which we are getting from China in assembled form. Okay. All the small components, the basic electronic components are already assembled in this PCB form. Okay. We are only assembling uh, big parts in this PCB, like so what, mic, what receiver. What is included in this PCB? What are these slots that we can There are see? basic PCBs, uh, basic ICs. Okay. All the components and chips which are already included in this. Okay. So like this is the earphone jack, some SIM card slots, SD card slots. Okay. These are all are included uh, in this. Okay. And these come straight from China? Yeah, these come straight from the China. We are only assembling big parts. Okay. Big parts like uh, I said, the camera, mic. Okay. 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 So along with this, hmm. this is the touch panel and LCD. Hmm. This is also coming assembled form from China. Okay. Uh, the operators, basically the first step, it, uh, the operator checks all the function, whether it is working or not. It is in working condition, the touch panel, the LCD hmm. liquid crystal display, hmm. is it working or not? Hmm. Uh, after checking the complete uh, assembled part, it is hmm. feeded on the line. Okay. 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 So then after this, it is put together out here. It is assembled. Yeah, like some PCB basic components like I said, vibrator hmm. and camera hmm. are soldered here. Okay. And some uh, ESD components, electrostatic components and electrostatic okay. mylars are also pasted in uh, this PCB as well as in this uh, touch panel. Okay. Okay. So okay. there are basic, uh, basically various functions which are already communicated to all the operators that you have to do this particular step uh, in manufacturing this uh, set. Okay. Okay. And how much time does it take uh, for one smartphone to go through this line? Well, basically it depends on the model. Uh, the minimum time is 6 seconds. Okay. And the maximum time is around 30 seconds. Means in one minute we can manufacture two sets. Two sets. Six, six, uh, for 6 seconds, uh, around 10 uh, sets per minute. So what is your uh, minimum and maximum capacity of production in one shift? That is an 8 hour shift. Yeah, 8 hour shifts. The minimum capacity I won't say. Okay, uh, maximum. <laughs> the maximum capacity, we have uh, 10 lines here. Ten, okay. We have 10 manufacturing lines here. So per line if we are manufacturing feature phone in all 10 lines. So 3000 is our target. So okay. it means in 3000 into 10, 30,000 sets we can manufacture in a single shift. In a single shift. So if we are working in a double shift operations, okay. then in single day we can manufacture 60,000. 60,000. Yeah. And also when all these components are being assembled now, we can also see that they are being checked by these people. Also they have some information on the screen. So can you tell us what they are seeing out here? See, this is our IPS system, which is called uh, Intex Production System. Okay. To check how many sets are flowing in the conveyor line and how many sets are assembled. Okay. Uh, we have installed this IPS in our conveyor. In, this is in, uh, installed in all our conveyor lines. Okay. So basically, there are five steps in this IPS. The first steps is which I already uh, told you is the input step. Huh. The operator. Uh, paste uh, this barcode label on the PCB hmm. and then scans it. Okay. So it means this particular PCB has been input in our system. Hmm. Then this is the second stage is the assembly stage. Okay. It means that the this PCB is assembled in this uh, touch panel. Okay. So after the whole assembly, the testing is gone. Okay. Testing is done. So is this the testing process that's happening? Yeah, this is our automatic testing machine which uh, tests all the basic function as well as advanced function of the PCB and set. Okay. So this includes your charging, your headphone jack. Yeah, your everything. Phone everything which on. the operator, oh, no, operator with the customer does. Let us okay. say. Okay. So all this is checked mechanically, not by a person. So this is a machine that does it. No, uh, there are a lot of function which are checked mechanically and lot of function also checked uh, manually. Okay. Okay. So out here, like we can see, it's manually check. He's manually checking hmm. the display. So Camera, display, uh, LCD testing, and 
uh, all the other functions. Okay. okay. This, like this operator is testing the touch panel. Okay. The touch panel is working or not. Okay. And what happens if a defective unit is found? If one unit which has a touch screen that is not working or something? So in case are defective, like the, the operator has mentioned, touch fail. Huh. It means the touch is not working in this particular set. Okay. So, so this set is sent directly to the repair department. Okay. Uh, this barcode label is uh, scanned in, on the line and then it is sent to the repair department. Mm -hmm. Where they analyze it and then repair it and then again throw it on the line. Okay. Auto this is our machine. automatic screw machines. Okay. So the screw which are getting inserted in the machine. The teaching of the machine is done by the maintenance department. Okay. And then the machine does all the screwing automatically. Okay. No need to done because it is a very time consuming process. Yes, yes, yes. Along, plus if a uh, operator is not working good, then there is a possibility of dent. Yeah. Because all the screw, the screw needs, needs to be uh, inserted in this particular location. Okay, okay. So this is the ma automatic machine. There is no possibility of dent as well as it is very, uh, it does not take uh, much time. Okay. Six to seven seconds hmm. in a single screw. Plus, if the screw quantity is very high, huh. then we need two machines. Okay. Two machines and two ports in each machine. Okay. So essentially, almost four uh, phones are getting screwed at the same huh. time. At the same time. Yeah. So at this particular step, our phone is uh, not ready to be sent in the market because every phone has an IMEI number. Okay. Like our fingerprints, every hmm. single phone has a unique IMEI number. Hmm. Here we are doing RF testing in the machine, the radio frequency testing. Mm. Basically, the basic function of a phone is to get signals. Mm. And if the phone is not getting signal, the customer won't be able to use it. Okay. okay. So, uh, whether the set is getting signals, like the antenna, which is outside, we have manufactured in this is called BTS, okay. Basic Transmission System. So, mm. basically, it is checking all the radio frequency systems, mm. all the frequency DCS 1800 and CDMA functions, this is uh, okay in the set or not. Okay. And then the machine itself tells you whether everything is working like yeah, it is over th there. Yeah, these are the various features, huh. various test, uh, testing parameters, mm. which needs to be checked. Like you can say, this is the low value, highest value, uh -huh. and the value which is coming during the testing of the set. Okay. okay. Now, this is the most important stage in the system. Okay. This is called IMEI writing. Just uh, as I said, mm. every phone has a unique IMEI number. Mm. So the sets gets completed only if the IMEI is written in the set. Okay. If the IMEI is not written in the set, just like the, uh, writing a CD, uh -huh. IMEI is written in the room. Okay. If the IMEI is not written in the set, uh, the network will not come in the market. Okay. okay. The set is without IMEI, okay. network okay. will not, not come. Catch network in the market. Now and this now, is our manual testing stage. And this uh, is where the product is almost fully finished. Yeah, after IMEI stage, the product is complete. After it is complete. ready to be sent to the market. But okay. uh, to uh, reduce the market failures, hmm. we are doing all the testing again, okay. second time. Okay. All the testing which was done previously, okay. auto testing, now we are all doing manually. Okay. So this includes checking the camera, the touch response. Everything which we are doing previously, same okay. testing are done again. Plus okay. IMEI uh, checking, whether IMEI is written in the set or not. Okay. So okay. this is all done just to reduce the market failure so that the customer which is receiving the phone does not receive any kind of defect in the market. I was told that the failure rate out here is very low, 0.02%. Yeah, it's 0.02% at this stage. At this stage. Whatever defect is coming, that is uh, taken on this on, being captured on that stage only. Okay. Now, this is our visual inspection set. Okay. Uh, again, this operator is checking all the visual features of the set. Whether any dent is there on the net, all the uh, functions, all the uh, things are uh, okay in the set or not. Okay. If there any dust in the set or not, everything is checked in the visual inspection set. Now, the sets which are coming on the floor are ready to be shipped. Okay. Or we can say ready to be packed first. Okay. So, this is our packing area hmm. where packing of the set is done. Okay. So this is where your booklet, your charger, cable, headphones... All the accessories which we are sent to the market are uh, inserted in the gift box here. Okay. And after the unit is uh, ready, after the packaging is done? Is after the packaging is done, the weighing of the box is done. Okay. In case there is any accessory miss in the set, okay. the weighing is done and captured in the online server. Okay. Okay. So that it can be backtrack also. Okay. In case in case any uh, discrepancy or any uh, defect is found in the market. Just a look at the double me phone name la. Yeah, double me charger nahi hai. Ah. So we can backtrack it. Ki yahan par jo humne weight capture kiya tha, ah. 
it was according to the specification or it was not okay as per the specification okay and every uh, phone has a certain parameter that the weight has to be between this much and yeah, this much yeah that is already set that is already set up and uh, once it's packaged then this is what a final product looks like this is what it looks after, like after after applying all the hologram seal the hologram seal is applied on the box so that it doesn't get uh, any problem in the market okay and this is actually one of the newer phones that intex has launched that we've seen packaged yeah this right? is the, the 4g Aqua phone maze plus which is we have just entered in the 4g market also yes yeah, so this uh, is your initially, first 4g phone no this is not the first 4g phone okay. all other 4g but this is one of the 4g phones which okay. we are manufacturing here okay okay perfect after the phones are uh, packaged into the individual boxes they are put into bigger packets over there right <laughs> so what happens over here i'll show you the thing on so uh, this is our shrink wrap machine actually <laughs> Gift box is shrink wrapped here, okay. and this is done just to prevent the set from the moisture. Okay. Like during transportation, rain can occur and the device can get damaged. So, so we are in a plastic shell. So we are shrink wrapping all the gift boxes so that it doesn't catch any moisture in the market during transportation or during uh, which we, when they are getting sent to the market. Okay. 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 And once it is finally sealed, then it is put into a set of boxes out here. Once it is finally sealed, it is uh, packed into the master carton. Every gift box has a unique master carton. Uh, the model name, as well as the weight of the master carton, is also gross weight of the master carton is also mentioned in the master carton. Okay. So there is less chance that the uh, final weight can be vary from the original weight. Okay. And they are putting stickers also on all the things. So what happens with that? Uh, the IMEI numbers are getting printed and pasted on the. Uh, of all the phones uh, that are in the box. Yeah, all, okay. all the phones which are inside the master box, so that okay. it can be tracked in the market also. Okay. And it is, and they are being weighed also once again out here. Once again, it is weighed, and the uh, weight of the master box is also written in this okay. master carton. Okay. 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 So all this is essentially done to ensure that the weight is the same, the phones are correct, the, correctly uh, put in the, the box. All the accessories are, are in the market. In market. Yeah. Okay. So all of Intex's phones are uh, assembled in these units, and I was also told that you have manufacture your own batteries and uh, chargers. Yeah, manufacture, also. Uh, charger and batteries chargers also manufactured. And batteries also. So is there any other process in the assembly that we need to see? Yeah, one more process also. After shrink wrapping the gift box, the master box is also shrink wrapped. Okay. And uh, again to prevent it from the moisture and water. Like we can see out here, all Start the master the boxes. Uh, are also wrapped in plastic essentially to prevent damages that can happen mm -hmm. during transportation okay so this is the final step and after this it is dispatched to the various retailers once all this is done the pallet of the uh, master carton are made and then sent to the logistics department so that they can they can uh, ship ship to the market and this is the final stage of the production yeah this is now. the final stage of the production well, there you have it, guys. You saw exactly how Intex assembles their smartphones here in their Noida facility. But it doesn't only assemble parts out here. Intex actually manufactures their own batteries and chargers. And we're going to get you a quick look at that process. The components for the chargers are made as per the design requirements. The internals of a charger are made up of multiple components that Intex manufactures themselves. After the components are made, they are put on the board in a machine. The specifications of the charger are fed into the machine and it puts the components on the board. The diodes, resistors and other components are put on the board. There are some components that are placed mechanically and some that are placed manually. The charger board goes through a manual inspection to check if all the parts are in place. As you can see, the ceramic capacitors are being cut as per the specifications of the charger. The smaller capacitor is used for noise reduction in the charger. This essentially ensures that the charger is quiet when it charges your phone. As you can see, all these components are placed in the center and are sorted in the machines. The soldering and final assembly is done and checked by hand before the electronics are placed in the plastic encasing. Any defects in the charger can be caught at this stage. 
the error rate is 0.02%. From raw materials to final assembly, everything is done in India. After the chargers are encased, they are tested in real-world scenarios. The charger is kept on full load condition to see how will it perform in the hands of the consumer. Any failure can be caught at this stage. After the chargers have been tested, they are packaged. The packaged chargers are then placed in the box along with the smartphone. All international standards are followed during the production of the charger. Each line for the making chargers can make 1 lakh charges per day. The lithium-ion batteries that have been purchased from vendors undergo a number of rigorous test processes before they are made available to the assembly line for production. The battery thermal abuse test checks the varying temperatures in which the battery can survive including excess heat. The cell capacity test helps determine the number of cycles the battery can go through. The crushed nail penetration test applies up to 13,000 nano pressures on a single battery. To pass this test, the battery needs to be intact. There must be no leaks or fumes emerging from it. The tests are video recorded to analyze them further. The video is also recorded in slow motion to assess every detail. The batteries also undergo a short circuit test. The test for the batteries is conducted behind very strong shatterproof glass. The batteries are also kept under low pressure for 6 hours to test them. For example, when you are traveling in an airplane, the pressure drops. This pressure test ensures that they are ready for any environment. The batteries are also overcharged in the test process. The MAH value of the battery is predefined. The batteries are built and concealed in a way to manage excess heat. In the initial stage, the power supply direction of the batteries is defined. The batteries are also concealed to ensure that they are leak proof. But this is not the end. The battery still needs to go through some testing before it can be shipped to the user. Stickers are also put on the battery in this stage to add the element of branding on them. This whole process is automated thanks to the machines. The voltage range, current and resistance of the batteries is also tested. After the batteries are tested and branded, they are packaged and ready for shipment. The process of testing and manufacturing the batteries goes through rigorous processes to ensure minimal rate of error. All the errors that have been encountered are analyzed and a process is put in place to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Well, there you have it guys. That was our look at how Intex assembles their smartphones and manufactures their own batteries and chargers. The process, according to me, was very, very interesting. And if you like this video, you can always hit the like button. For more videos like this one, you can subscribe to our channel. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.